Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy here. When creating a robot or any other mechanism from scratch, the most common issue people face is related to the imported 3D model of the robot. In this video, we will cover how to ensure the robot model we are using is properly positioned and split for the building setup. Let's get started. If you followed my recent tutorials, you might have seen the tutorial where I create the KUKA KR150R3300. In that tutorial, I did skip the part where you split the robot model into different moving pieces. That part is very important, so let's do that together. First, I will re-import my robot. I'm generally using the default CAD import parameters for that kind of work, but I do like to improve the curve accuracy to 1mm. If you're running an older computer, the fast import settings might be a good option for you. You can take a look at our online documentation for more info on 3D model importation. Let's drag and drop the 3D model and wait a few seconds. Let's quickly fix the colors as I showed you last time. Change color, select the robot and remove the gray and green layers. Now that we have this part done, let's start the splitting. Right click the robot and select split object. That will create a bunch of smaller pieces that you can select, hide or regroup. Quick note, I highly recommend you to save this step and create a few more versions throughout the process. That will ensure that you won't lose what you already did. So our goal is to remove everything we don't need and group the rest robot section by robot section. One group for the base, one group for J1, one group for joint two, and so on. In this case, we can remove this part of the base, so we don't really need the attachment to the ground, so we can remove all the bolts and the plates. To do that, you can select one piece and press delete. You can select more than one piece at a time by pressing and holding control and selecting multiple pieces, and you can delete them this way. You can also speed up the process by using the click and drag selection tool. If you click, hold and drag towards the left, a red rectangle will appear. This rectangle will select all the surfaces and components it touches. If you do the same, but this time you drag towards the right side, it will create a blue rectangle. The blue rectangle selects surfaces or component completely comprised within its borders. Let's use that to remove the feet of the robot. I will fast forward certain sections of this tutorial because some steps can take a few minutes to execute and they are a bit repetitive. So let's fast forward this part here. Now that the feet are removed, I can try to isolate the base of the robot. If I select a section of the base, I can do a few things. First, I can see which pieces I grabbed from the station 3. I can merge them to create a group, so right click merge. And once I have a group, I can hide it to leave more place to pick the other objects. You can create multiple small groups for the same robot section and remerge them together later. Quick tip, you can find your pieces in the station 3 by right clicking the 3D object and selecting reveal in 3 that will point out the object directly. Sometimes you will select some objects like this, but you won't be able to right click and merge. You simply won't have the option there. This means you simply have many different types of items selected. In this case, if I had to go up in my three, I could see that my selection tool also grabbed the station origin and the general robot 3D model. So if I hold Ctrl and press both of them to unselect them, I should be able to merge the rest together. Just like that. Now the option is available. In this case, I'm quite lucky. The joint one section is already in one big piece, so I will hide it to better see what I'm doing. Now that's better. Let's select the pieces left and merge them with the section we already isolated. So just like that, we have our base. Okay, good. Now that we have this piece as one group, I can right click and convert to object. 
this new object will appear at the bottom of the tree. I will rename it base and I'll hide it. Let's save really quickly so we have another version and that's good. Okay, now let's isolate what we have left from joint one. So we can either remove or isolate the cable. In this case, I want to keep them so I'll isolate them. So I pretty much need to do the same for all the other sections. So let's fast forward that a bit. Now that I isolated each part, it's always a good idea to give them a meaningful name. So from base to J6. I will now drag and drop all the objects on the station origin and remove the now empty original import. One important thing for the robot creation is to make sure each pieces of the robot has the base of the robot as its origin. If I was to right click the base and visible object reference, which is the object origin, it will be here. So where the base of the rod should be. If I was to hide this one and do the same for joint two, so right click visible object reference, it should be at the same spot here where the base of the rod will be. If I was to hide this one and do the same with the flange, again, the reference frame should be at the same place. If I open the model mechanisms and robot, and select six axis industrial robot, I can now see that the origin of the 3D model is properly oriented. So I would now be ready to create the robot. We already have a tutorial specifically on that topic on our YouTube channel. So you should really take a look at this one. Okay, that's great. We went from having a robot as one object to having the robot as multiple moving objects. Now let's jump to another example. Let's open a new station. So control N and I will import the 3D model of a cobot from the brand Dobot. So this is the CR3. This time again, the robot is as one object, so we need to split it. But before we do so, you can avoid some time consuming work later down the road. If we right click the robot and select visible object reference, we can see that the origin of the 3D model is here. In this case, it seems to be somewhere between the base and joint one. If I open the model mechanism or robot window and I select six axis collaborative robot, I can see the origin of the 3D model should be where the base of the robot will be. So right here at ground level along J1 axis. I can also see that on top of the translation, the object origin orientation isn't right. We should rotate 90 degrees around Z so that both lined up properly. To fix that, I simply double click the robot. It will open the object details window. As we need to modify the 3D model origin, I recommend you to select more options and use move geometry. Let's start by rotating minus 90 degrees around Z. Okay, good. Apply move. Now you can measure how much you need to move the 3D model along the Z axis using the measurement tool. So tools, measure, I'll make sure surface, auto extract and absolute are activated for this one. And I'll select the base of the robot. For sure, I'll do a video on that measurement tool in the future. Now the tool tells me we need to move the 3D model upward 65 millimeters. So let's enter that in the move geometry. If I apply move, the robot is now where it should be according to the reference image of the cobot building tool. We can now split the robot. So right click the robot and split object. This one is an easy one. It automatically split it itself into the seven required pieces. So that's awesome. It happens sometime. It's always a good surprise to be honest. We have another tutorial on how to build this specific cobot. So simply visit our YouTube channel. You will find it there. And while you're there, why not subscribing to the channel? We are releasing some valuable content like this all the time. 
in my opinion, this is one of the best way to master RoboDK and really take full advantage of the tool you have in hand. Before I go, I just want to mention that everything I showed you right now also works for any other kind of mechanisms. Here's some image of myself splitting up and changing the colors of a linear rail from Lucas Robotics. I will also release a video on the specific topic of linear rails, T-bots and H-bots, so all sort of Cartesian robots. I will also create one on how to customize your robot color. So this is really cool. That's everything for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any technical questions, feel free to visit our online forum. We will be happy to answer any of your questions. In any case, have a great day, guys.